Hello and welcome back. I am so excited to be back into the uh, African Safari Park this week to go ahead and get this one concluded. Just doing a quick fly over here of everything that we have worked on. It seems the next order of business is to go ahead and get some West African lions added to our zoo. So I think I've done a bit of looking around and I think we're going to go ahead and put them in right over here. Hopefully this little area right here is going to be uh, big enough for them. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of putting down some fencing. And I want to thank everyone so much for all the comments and uh, suggestions and just all the uh, all the wonderful feedback that I received. I love reading your comments. They're absolutely wonderful. I really appreciate them. And I want to th say thank you very much to all the new subscribers that we've had. We've had quite a few new subscribers. So thank you very much. Uh, if you're new to the channel, if uh, you have been here for a while, thank you very much to you as well. I appreciate you being here. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop to it. So let's uh, let's start getting some fencing laid out for them. And I'm gonna do it very similar to how I did with the cheetahs last week with uh, just pretty much the same fencing. And then uh, probably gonna do the same elephant grass. So no huge surprises there, but stick around to the end to see our West African lions chilling in the new enclosure. And I'll be back in just a second. All right, and welcome back. As you can see, <laughs> once again, we do have another habitat and the uh, make sure that the fence is not climbable. And then we have just our uh, elephant grass out here right now, still sticking up through the ground, but that is okay. We are going to be going ahead and getting our uh, West African lions in here in just a moment. But before we do that, we do need to zoom over here real quick. Take a look at our hyenas because apparently they have been doing a little bit of fighting amongst themselves. So we do need to go ahead and take a look at what is going on with them. And would you just look at him? Is that not the cutest little face you've ever seen on a West African dog? Oh, it's an African wild dog, not the hyena. Okay, I was thinking hyenas, but no, it's the African wild dog. I do appreciate them. I think that was one of the first animals I ever put in my zoo when I created my very first zoo. Let's go ahead and find the entrance to their habitat, which is going to be here. So if we click on the door entrance, then we can go to animals inside that habitat. And take a look there are eight of them and you can see that there are five males and three females so we'll take a look at the zoopedia and see what it says as far as the appropriate amount of animals in here and as you can see male bachelor size 2 to 27 and female 2 to 27 up to 27 males and up to nine females all right so yeah no idea why they may have been fighting um so we'll just continue to keep an eye on them and monitor them and watch them and try and figure out exactly what type of issue that they're having. Now, I do see that we are losing a bit of money. So one thing I do want to check as well is zoom right back over here to our... I'm so glad guests can just phase through walls. But yeah, we'll zoom back over here. Take a look at our cheetahs and there are no education boards and or donation bin so we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick i'll put down a couple of donation bins and then let's get some education going you know what we have this nice little pole we'll just utilize this pole here uh yeah maybe this one over here no power i thought i fixed the power issues in the last episode uh, give me just a moment while i take a look at that all right and that was very easily solved we'll go ahead and get some education going on about our cheetahs and the speaker as well we'll just mount the speaker up here above the tv and we should be able to expand its range quite a bit. It shouldn't interfere with anything. We'll go ahead and zoom out and take a look. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good, actually. There we go. Now we're getting a bit more uh, getting a bit more on the donation side of things and a bit more on the uh, education side of things because that is those are both very important. Go ahead and pull these down a little bit. They just feel weird being up that high. And then one thing also I've been thinking is coming in here and... Maybe putting down for our guests that are going to just be riding through. Don't want to put it in their way, but maybe for our guests riding through, we can drop a couple of these down in here as well. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm just going to be honest. I have absolutely no idea if that'll work, but we can definitely try it. And then we can definitely go ahead and bump that up. It's not going to interfere with anything else. And it is now dot once again so one thing i also am wondering is because the guests that are riding through i mean obviously they've paid to ride the ride not really a ride but they've paid to enjoy the excursion so what about if we went into what if we threw down a donation bin as they were going to leave would they donate to us 
we can see. I think that's where they get off. Maybe that's the priority pass. I have to take a look at that in just a moment. But yeah, I seem to have a bit of a uh, backup for our guests here. That's because the other location, people are getting off. And you can see right here, there's, there is a backup. People are getting off and then not getting back on very quickly. Also, we apparently have one location that is having a negative impact on our guests. We'll have to go take a look at that in just a moment. We have a uh, floating donation bin and hey, that did work. Someone actually did donate. Wonderful. Thank you so very much for the donations. We do appreciate that. You are definitely assisting us in uh, helping the animals here. Wow, they donated quite a bit. $40. That, that's a pretty good donation right there, I'd say. And I'm struggling to tell if that is still floating. It definitely was still floating. Maybe if we were to move it like right right there oh more donations thank you so wow okay definitely the donos are coming in now oh my goodness we're <laughs> we're up to 260 dollars in donations now wow that that is absolutely amazing you know sometimes you try something and you win and sometimes you try something and you lose and more donations coming in wonderful absolutely love it but yeah this is where the backup is right here for now just don't have as many guests getting back on the rod to actually uh to actually leave wow that is almost 500 dollars worth of donations thank you so very much for the donations we really do appreciate it all right so back around this corner and how's this one doing no donations that's okay let's do kind of the same thing let's put it kind of in the same spot but like right about there will work maybe move it back a little bit right around Right around now and the donations are already coming in 240 dollars and guests are still just lining up like crazy through here which is absolutely wonderful we definitely want them to see all of the animals only concern i have is did we leave a lot of money on the table uh, as far as what we're charging and also why do these cars not fill up all the way i feel like they should definitely be filling up all the way especially if guests are queuing this long if you went to an actual park you'd be stuffed in with a bunch of people you don't know they wouldn't just let two people on there. Although, I am totally digging the blue-haired dude's uh, hair here. I don't think I've ever seen you around the park before. And we keep getting that notification, but only for a moment. Something will have a negative impact, and then it'll be gone. How are we doing on guest education? We are currently at a two-and-a-half-ish star. Oh, and we have a baby giraffe. They're so cute with their long legs and their long neck. All right, and I'm just trying to take care of a few little issues just before we go ahead and get this finished up and get our west african lines in here want to make sure any issues have been taken care of but let's go ahead and go into animal trading and we're no longer looking for cheetahs looking for west african lines and there are none <laughs> there are none so we're going to have to wait but it looks like to reach our gold status all we need to do is place a two west african lines and have at least 2600 guests in the park we're at 2,481, so we still have a little ways to go. Obviously, more attractive the animal in the park, the more guests that we'll get in. So I feel like by the time we get in our West African lines, we should be just about finished with this one. All right, and we didn't even have to wait uh, for four years this time to be able to find some West African lines. As you can see, they are now being transported uh, well, we have an animal going into uh, the vet surgery center, but we also have our West African lions going into quarantine right now. So they will go into quarantine, be in there just a little bit, and then they will be right out. So I worked on a few things while I was gone and trying to really boost education. I did also raise the price of tickets in the zoo and people are okay with that. So we have our original two education boards here. And then I decided to do something a little strange. So we have some education boards right over here, which are working fairly well. And then we have one over there in the little dining area that works. The thing that I decided to do that was a little strange was as you come through here, you have this whole little line that you have to wait in to be able to get on the ride. So I put down some education speakers through this area, hoping that maybe it'll help to educate our guests a little bit. So this one's at 46%. Let's check someone at the end of the line. 18% they learn nothing 11% 44% so it's really just kind of scattered throughout on whether or not that is working I'm getting very mixed results <laughs> so I can't say uh, 
can't say if that's working or not. They thought the tickets for this ride were a bargain. Oh, uh, I can change that. But yeah, you see some of them will be at 21% and some of them are be higher. So again, not sure if it's working. I don't really think it is. I think the sign and the uh, speaker have to be pretty close to one another. They kind of work in conjunction with one another. I may try and change that up a little bit. But I do have some signage down here as well for the animals. And then, of course, speakers scattered throughout. So hopefully we get the, the education rating up just a little bit. Our current education rating, though, is less than what it was earlier. I looked earlier and it was a full three stars. I don't know what I've done. I have damaged it. So I will have to go back and reevaluate that. And it may be this. Okay, so we do have a little bit of overlap right there. That'll make people happier if we don't overlap that. And we have just a little bit of overlap there as well. I guess we're just not going to get as much education throughout here as I wanted to. So what is this one educating on? The giraffe. Let's move it and see. I do not like the heat map view. I don't know if I've ever said that or not, but I do not care for the heat map view. It's good in some, some circumstances, but not great in others. So let's try that. I know this speaker is going to definitely need to move. And that one is educating about our spring bot. Wondering if I space these out appropriately through here. That's why I'm not hitting play. I want to wait a second, see if I can space them out kind of appropriately through here and then try that again to see if the education does work. I don't want to go ahead and hit play while the guests are standing next to this and there's so much interference going on. Just make the guests mad. Where is the last one? Last one was right over here and it should be, yep, educating about the uh, black wildebeest. So we'll just go ahead and slide that up and hide it behind the TV like I do. They should all be joined up with their associative pair. If I grab on both of them, I should be able to move them both together. And let's see if this will actually help with some guest education as they're waiting in line. Because why not educate the guests? If they're just standing here, they might as well get some education going on about the animals in which they're about to see, right? So I think I can leave one there and maybe drag one of these down to the end. So I'm thinking I will take the giraffes and we'll slide these dudes down here to the end, right about there. And then this one, which is our spring box. Of course, uh, if I actually get that a little closer, it may look better. There we go. Go ahead and grab both of those and relocate them. Maybe right here against the back wall. I feel like that would give less interference, especially once we increase the radius on the others. And maybe I'll be able to grab that again. Nope, definitely won't be able to grab that again. Where did it go? Right through this wall. Okay, I can grab it as long as I glitch myself through the wall as well. Go ahead and do a little advance move and a little push out. There we go. Just push it on out just a little bit. And it looks like it can actually come up just a bit as well so we'll go ahead and do that can i can i please grab the speaker again thank you all right so i'm gonna mess around with this for a few minutes i am gonna leave it paused you're not gonna miss anything but when we come back we will be adding in our west african lions and hopefully our guests will be quite a bit more educated through this point so i will see you in just a couple of minutes after i get this taken care of all right and welcome back so as you can see it is still paused it is nighttime now though because this uh i use this guest as my test subject so she was way back here at the very end of the line when I started this uh, little test and she has 77% of education. So I'm hoping, no, it's definitely does not appear that it's working. Maybe she's just better, better educated than everyone else. Yeah, definitely not working, but I mean, can't blame me for trying, right? All right, so it does look like our two West African lines are now ready to go to their new home. So we'll go ahead and run them around here and it's dark so i don't really remember oh yeah right in here this is this is their nice little home oh wait a minute can't move them there i don't think i'm going to move them first over to because a lot of these paths in this uh this location do not connect so i'm gonna move them over here first then i should be able to take them out of the trade center because i do have uh staff buildings and stuff like that right here should be able to move them from this location to uh to their new home Once again, you've completely transformed the place. <laughs> and with those programs in full swing, we're going to make a real difference to the wild animal population. <laughs> I know it's my name above the door, so to speak, but this is your legacy now, too. Except in any legal sense, because, <laughs> believe me, the paperwork is a nightmare. So, before I unleash your talents on your next project, I want to give you one last piece of advice, if I may. 
don't just limit your conservation efforts to the zoo. Think of the whole planet. Conserving electricity can be as important as conserving animals. Use public transport. Recycle your rubbish. I try to do something hands-on, like cleaning up the local countryside at least once a week, and it's kept me young at heart. <laughs> I just wish it could have kept me young at hairline as well. <laughs> right. Well, the Arctic beckons. <laughs> See you in a few months. All right. Well, he is off, and I don't just mean to the Arctic. So let's go ahead and go back into our zoo trading and let's get these folks. Where are y'all moving to? Oh, okay. Uh, and get them into their new enclosure, right? Yeah. And so we're going to stay in the zoo for a bit. I want to see how our West African lions do. Dangerous animals are fighting spotted hyenas. We'll have to go check on them because we're getting that alert again. I checked on the African wild dogs earlier, didn't I? Yeah, so that could be it. Oh, look at our lions already all up in here. Hello, little lion. Oh, well, not so little lion. All right, so they definitely need a few things. They're going to need some water and some food. I haven't done that yet. Let's go ahead and make them happy in their new habitat. All right, there we go. And that's about all we can do really until we, uh, until we research them, which I don't know if we're going to get to the point of before this episode ends. I do want to see how they're enjoying their, uh, they have no hard shelter, which is evident. And we'll give them a little bit of hard shelter just right over there. They still have no enrichment, but they are happier about their hard shelter. And just like regular cats, they are just going to lay around. They do want some additional rock. We'll go ahead and give them a bit more rock. And while we're waiting, I'll just go ahead and play with the uh, elephant grass. See if I can get that sunk down quite a bit so that our guests have a, do have a good view of our West African lions chilling acting like big old kitty cats like they are you know it does amuse me that the west african lions well just wild cats in general how much they can sometimes act like domesticated cats or how much domesticated cats act like the uh the wild animals i guess it would be oh he wasted no time running right over that i need you to be captured sir i'm guessing that he jumped it considering it's saying it's non navigable if that if that's how that's pronounced yep he's back he's not happy but he is back still gonna try this though still want to try this bring that one back up some some more some more all the way up then can i lower any no does not look like i can there we go we'll just leave that one like that that'll be fine all right so welcome back so i have been gone quite some time because i've been trying to do some research on our west african lions to see if we could get any research done on them but for some reason the vet is just being really really slow about doing any research however i bring you over to uh don't even know how to pronounce that not even gonna try but she is pregnant and she is expecting offspring imminent so that means like any moment now she is going to be delivering us a little cup and she is not a happy kitty where are you going you going to get birth you gotta find you a good spot oh nope she's and give her a little privacy she uh she had to do some business oh and there it is there's our little cub hello oh and you are a girl but you are a nice looking girl look at you so pretty all right so we are going to change her name she is going to be simba because you know why not that could be a girl's name right all right but anyway i'm gonna leave it here and if you've enjoyed this video check out this one right here where we create a brand new sandbox zoo Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.